Hi guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. Hey, I know it's been, uh, I've been really slow getting videos out. I've had a lot going on. I uh, just wanted to give another shop update. This is what I've mostly been working on uh, here and there and um, involved in a fairly large project for um, um, my church. Um, church has uh, adopted a active shooter policy and it requires uh, had required a, a lot of uh, closed circuit uh, cameras to be installed. Um, uh, PF sense uh, firewall, some wireless radios, and things like that. So, I'm uh, coming um, probably about half half complete with that project. The closed circuit TV cameras uh, and everything are installed. I uh, have the machine and the radios now to set up the firewall and uh, you know the network access and and the wireless and that sort of stuff. So that's kind of been you know keeping keeping me pretty busy. And then of course you know I've been working on the shop uh, because my my wife. Uh, really wants the uh, basement of the house back. Um, she wants it uh, um, to remodel. Uh, it's a mostly unfinished basement. Uh, she wants um, she wants me to remodel that so that uh, we have some living space down there. That's kind of um, uh, you know just away from the regular part of the living house. And I think she has a an idea for. Uh, I think she wants a three quarter bath down there, uh, which should be a fun little project because I'll have to. Uh, excuse me. I'll have to uh, install a sewage ejection system, and um, she wants a full wet bar, which, uh, hey, I'm all for that, right? Uh, <laughs> um, and then, you know, an area for, uh, you know, maybe, uh, I'd like to put in a nice large screen, like maybe a 70-inch TV, so that I can watch hockey uh, from anywhere in the basement and be able to see it, so... Uh, so that's kind of those the future projects and so the reason why I bring that up is I'm kind of curious Do you guys want to see uh, any of that stuff? Um, happen or you know, maybe an occasional update of where I'm at with that because that it's obviously going to consume some of my time uh, but hopefully I'm back to the point now where I can start with um, uh, back in some metal casting and some machining and stuff like that continue my uh, learning process um, with that uh, but anyway, so um, I thought uh, I would take a couple of minutes and uh, show you a few things that I've done, including uh, something that's never been seen on my channel, and that's the basement of my workshop. Now, see, we live on a hillside, and uh, when I decided that I wanted to workshop, uh, there was uh, no easy way of doing a single-story uh, building. So I you know, we brought in some uh, heavy equipment, we dug a big hole, uh, in the side of the hill, port a footing, and uh, um, laid up um, uh, block walls, uh, the 12-inch block walls, um, and then of course my upper shop is the one sitting here, or sitting on top of that. And so this is uh, the upper shop is all insulated. I think I mentioned that in my last one. Uh, I got uh, I'll, I'll I'll pan around and show you a few things. Um, all the insulation's in uh, in the floor. Uh, the basement has been wired uh, with lights and receptacles. Um, I'm, I'm to the point now where I need to kind of start um, adjusting and moving some things around and, and, and get ready to put tools in here. I need to get Bertha moved in here. Uh, really, before I move Bertha, I need to locate a couple pieces of uh, you know two by two heavy wall tubing. Um, I'm going to bolt those to the to the uh, feet of the stand and then put adjusters on the tubing and then spread the tubing out uh, or you know make. A, a, widen the footprint or deepen the footprint I guess of Bertha because I think that the the stand you know is only about yeah well that's what 12 14 inches is all all the depth the footprint that it sits on and to me I just think that it would be uh, easier to adjust it level if I had uh, more of a, a wider base to, to to come off of so that's kind of where I'm at with that um, I've got a couple new donations to the shop um, I'll uh, I'll show one of them. The other one I'll uh, keep quiet until uh, um, until it's ready. Um, but uh, let me uh, let me get behind the camera and and I'll show you uh, wh what I've been doing since my last update. So hold tight. Okay, so a coworker um, donated a, a a piece of machinery to me, and he also said, "Hey, I have a couple of uh, cabinets that uh, um, a guy had made and." They were given to me. I'm never going to use them. They've been sitting in my shed for quite a few years now, you know, three or four years. Do you want them? So I'm like, sure. I mean, uh, space is space is space and countertop is countertop. So uh, there are two cabinets there. The one on the uh, left 
uh, has two small drawers and and uh, uh, the and then the the other cabinet starts with those four drawers there and works over and that's actually a sink top down there so uh, or a sink cabinet down there so uh, the drawers uh, were there but there's no fronts I'll have to make fronts I have to make some doors and I'm probably going to put drawers over on the far right side where you see um, uh, where you see the containers that I use to store bolts and stuff like that. Now I didn't have a countertop, so I made the top in case you're interested. That's two layers of of three quarter inch MDF uh, that are glued and screwed together. Loose laid on top of that is eighth inch uh, tempered hardboard, and then of course I bound uh, banded it with some uh, two by material, and then I still need to round over the edge and stuff, but I think it'd provide a nice surface. So uh, that's, uh, I've done that. So let me, uh, let me turn the camera, oh, let me, uh, let me try this here, and if I, hopefully I don't make you seasick. So here we have uh, the window. Uh, the window's all cased in and good to go. So I, I've done that uh, since the last video. And let me uh, get the camera in another position here and, and I'll show you the last of what I've done up here. Uh, as you recall from the last video, I had all the uh, insulation in the walls and had about uh, 12 feet or so of, uh, of uh, this uh, ply bead to put up. Um, it's all up now except for this little strip in the very corner you see where my service is. I've uh, left that off until uh, after I get the majority of uh, the services uh, run downstairs and, uh, and uh, a 220 line yet that I still have to do. And finally, you see that uh, I cased in the door. So it's, uh, it's good. Uh, we're getting there. I've also, um, if you look over here, you see that I've hung my dry erase board, uh, getting right, you know, so I have a place to take notes and maybe present or whatever. Still trying to figure out where I want to put my benches and tools and that sort of stuff. I'm still working on it. But uh, while I got you here, let me position the camera. I'm going to show you a couple of things here before we go down in the basement. So in the uh, last video, I pointed out my workbench was an, uh, from, that I built from a book by David Gingrey. It might have been Vincent, I can't remember. It's, uh, I think the book was called Uncle Dave's uh, Shop Notebook or something like that. And it just had a number of little projects in there that were kind of handy. Well, this is another one that I built early on. And this is a uh, stock rack. Uh, it's made out of wood. And surprisingly, it's uh, been held up and been pretty durable. You see that I have some round and square stock in there. And, and uh, so one side of it will pass all the way through and uh, you can see that I have stock in there and uh, the other side goes halfway through you know to hold shorter stuff so I just kind of want to show that it's a nice little it's nice it keeps stuff uh, organized and together and and it's easy to move you see there's got a big handle there on the top uh, you can sort of pick it up or slide it around or something like that it's really handy so I had mentioned that uh, I got a gift from uh, a coworker, and uh, I thought I would take the time to show that. So hopefully I don't make you seasick here. But there it is. It's a uh, Rockwell sander um, uh, belt and disc sander. And uh, I'll try to get the camera a little closer here and, and see what... Uh, see what model it is exactly and it does have a three-phase motor so I'm trying to decide you know what's the best thing to do here I don't have any other three-phase in my shop I thought about uh, maybe getting another three-phase motor and uh, building a rotary converter um, but I haven't really decided I think probably what I'll do is I'll pull the three-phase motor off and just put another uh, another motor on there so let's get a closer look at that and and uh, so I'll be right with you Okay, so this is a Rockwell Delta sander that was given to me. It's a uh, model 31-710. I don't know much about it yet, uh, other than it probably needs to be uh, pulled apart and cleaned. But let's take a couple quick measurements. Okay, it has a 6-inch belt. And uh, hopefully I don't get in the way here too much. The disc portion of it is 12-inch. So... Um, you know, it's a pretty nice machine. I think it's going to be uh, quite handy in the shop. And uh, the price was perfect. It was, uh, it was a gift. It was free. He uh, said it's been sitting in his uh, shop for years. He's got another uh, uh, big sander, and he, he wasn't going to use it. 
and he'd rather give it to me and even if I changed the motors and you know cleaned it up or whatever to see some use uh, out of the old girl so this is uh, this is the newest addition to the shop um, that I'm kind of excited to have although you know uh, I think uh, a little de-rusting and some cleanup and stuff is going to be called for so all right well um, that's enough of the top part let's go downstairs and take a look at the uh, basement of the shop what I've been doing down there and and, uh, um, and just to let you know and there you can uh, uh, got a couple things I'm going to show you down there too so catch you here in just a minute okay guys I'm in the basement of my shop I've um, I was going to try to put it on a on a tripod but I got so much junk laying around down here and still thinning crap out but uh, give you an idea so I don't blind you I put up shop lights down here you know of course you see the insulation of the floor I put in electrical you see the conduits here uh, receptacles hey I just uh, you know I've never done conduit before I mean the job wasn't too bad but here's something that I discovered I got uh, two before uh, two inch by four inch roughly you know jiffy boxes uh, to put my receptacles in but by the time I put the conduit in and got the connectors in I didn't really have enough room for uh, the receptacle without fear of it shorting against uh, the, the, the conduit so uh, you know I had to take those out and then I got the four before boxes with the um, change plates and stuff so what I have in here is um, an area that I'm primarily going to use uh, from for casting and and some other stuff this is a uh, 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 not a air conditioned environment it's uh, whatever the temperature is although I do have a dehumidifier running that uh, you know to dry it out so and it needs a good thorough cleaning so over here um, I have a you know there's a double entrance there where I came in you know more electrical um, I have a dehumidifier set up there it's piped through the wall I still gotta you know do some cleaning and some uh, some not some insulating but some at least foaming to stop some air gaps and stuff but as we pan over here and again I'm sorry if I make you sick this area right here is going to be uh, my casting area uh, there's my old molding bench there's uh there's actually sand in it there's a piece of ply that's covering sand um, but uh, you know my I'm gonna I need to make a new bench and you know chirpy I like yours I kind of like that uh, using a half of a plastic barrel it's uh, looks like it's pretty uh, pretty nice and then uh, down here of course you see uh, uh, my furnace and some lifting shanks and stuff over here I'll put a uh, I have this four foot um, shelf that I want to put over here for uh, you know to put mold supplies flasks and stuff like that now um, I want to show this against my better judgment but if we look down here this was uh, my Gingri gas fired crucible furnace uh, remember I told you that uh, got ruined I was a little heartbroken about that and it's been sitting down here ever since you see that the inside was nice and vitrified the lid got ruined I've been trying to decide whether if I want to you know clean that up and and reuse it uh, or just throw it out but it's a pretty neat design and if you go to my website www.myheap.com you'll see a, a long uh, uh, video of a, a page video and of course you know I, I do got casting sand you know buckets of casting sand laying around and and some tools where I've been working and that sort of thing um, so that's going to be the primary use of this section of the basement now you notice here that I do have a uh, 10 by 12 room framed out of here and I want to use this for actual storage so let me uh, let me pause the camera and uh, we'll go in here and take a look okay so I'm in this little room here that I framed out uh, when I built the building uh, my intention here is to use it uh, for storage I am drying it out it's a little warm down here I don't think that hurt as long as it's dry so we pan around here you know see it's, it's just a small room 10 by 12 I think I'm going to uh, build some shelves two foot deep uh, eight foot tall to run across this whole corner and then uh, you know I have plenty of storage I do have an issue here and maybe we can see it you see that I have a crack and I got a couple cracks in the foundation 
that uh, probably apart from settling and then we had uh, uh, a tremor from from a uh, uh, a small a very small earthquake I think that originated in southern Illinois or in Missouri and we felt the tremor here and then it was shortly after that that I noticed uh, some some cracks like on the uh, stone of my house and and some cracks here but my intentions are I want to chisel those out uh, to get a nice bed, take a wire wheel, remove the uh, Thurisil paint and uh, fill that up with some hydraulic cement and see what happens. So that's kind of uh, all we got down here and I just wanted to, to let you guys know that uh, you know, I've just been busy uh, not trying to neglect you, not trying not to make videos and that sort of thing and, and uh, I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, your patience and everything and I just wanted to give you an update. So um, hopefully uh, Bertha would be moved soon, some more of the shop be done and I finish up my uh, project for the church and I can get back onto some more fun things. So thank you so much for being so patient with me. Thank you for watching my videos, uh, all the support uh, that you guys provided uh, verbally through emails and uh, sending me things to help me out and things like that. I uh, appreciate it so much. I appreciate you guys so much. So uh, thanks again and until next time. Have a blessed day.